Welcome to another episode of Jacked Up Garage. Today we're going to be doing a manual swap on this S14 Sylvia. It's currently auto, obviously, and no cool car, which is a JDM, is auto. So this thing's going to be manual. We're going to make it sick and we're going to get it up to speed with uh, the way that it should be. Yep. As we, as we should, we've got uh, the gearbox, tail shaft, we've got a heavy duty um, clutch, we've got a light and flywheel for a bit better feel, um, all the little accessories, short and shift kit, all the boots, mounts and everything like that. So hopefully we've got everything, hopefully there's no surprises. There's uh, always surprises. Yeah, always. <laughs> Let's uh, smash straight into it and we'll see how it goes. Sweet. First thing we're going to start with is removing the center console to gain access to all this automatic garbage so we can remove all this top section so the shifter linkages any of the wiring just unplug all that once we've removed all of that we can get under the car and start taking out the trans so let's get to it All the automatics is uh, disconnected. Just got to disconnect the pin from the linkage at the bottom. Four screws. You screws in your your um, shifter location thing, um, and then that's pretty much it. That's all that really needs to be undone from up the top. We've got everything undone from here, so let's get underneath it and start removing the transmission. All right, we're going to start with the exhaust. That's going to be in the way of us getting out the transmission. Once we've got the exhaust off, we're going to drain the drain the transmission itself. Uh, a lot easier with a with a fully drained transmission. Tail shaft out, and then once the tail shaft out, we can focus on the transmission lines. So they've got hard lines going to it um, to the transmission itself. They need to be removed altogether. There's no point keeping them in there, and then we can remove it from the radiator. So let's start on doing that, and then we can focus on removing the transmission itself. All right, we're onto the torque converter bolts now. So to gain access to those torque converter bolts, you're gonna to need to remove this two bolt plate here. Once you've removed the plate, you can see and gain access to your torque converter bolts. I'm not sure you can see that, see that in there, but that's where the torque converter bolts are. So we come back here, we can show, just need a socket on the um, crank. Just make sure you're turning it clockwise to be able to get to the next one and the next one and the next one until you've got all your torque converter bolts out and then you can shove a screwdriver in there push it forward a little bit to make sure it's uh, separated from the flex plate. And then once that's all done, we can undo all of our bell housing bolts and the gearbox mount and the wiring loom. And that pretty much should come out. Keep turning over the engine, repeat the process for the rest of the torque converter bolts and that'll come out. All right, so getting these bell housing bolts off can be a bit tricky um, and taking a trans out can be as well. So the way we can make that easier is releasing the bottom engine mounts and letting the engine tip back a little bit. That'll give us better access and also, also allow us to get out the, the trans from the tunnel because they can be pretty tight sometimes. So what we're going to first do is we're going to undo the transmission mount bolts we're going to allow the back of the trans to sit down a bit. Um, that'll get, get us better access to the wiring. We're going to take off the wiring first, the dipstick, and then all the bell housing bolts, including the st starter motor bolts. Once all they're out, we're pretty much good to take this whole thing out. So we'll just start banging all these out and then release it down, see that we've got access to everything, remove everything, and then it should pretty much all just fall out from there. Thank you. 
we're going to take the flex plate off. Once we've got the flex, I mean, the, yeah, flex plate off, we'll take the bell housing plate off. Um, then we've got to sort out a few things behind here, make sure that the rear main seal's not leaking. Um, once we've sorted that out, we can um, chuck on the new flywheel, chuck on the new clutch, and then we can chuck the gearbox back in, or the new gearbox in. Looks like we're replacing the remain seal. Yeah, good. Absolutely hosing out. Um, yeah, so let's go get one of those. All right, we're gonna need to be fitting this bad boy. It's the spigot bush. Um, this is the automatic spigot bush. There's several ways you can remove it. Um, you can get a spigot bush remover, um, but there's not a lot of lip behind it to be able to get in there and pull it. Um, there's also the bread trick, the grease trick, where you put bread in there and smash a like a socket the same size as that in a hole and then it'll force it out. Never had much luck with either of those methods, so I'm just going to be drilling this. So small drill, just like a pilot hole, and then drill a little bit bigger hole through and then we can crack it in half and that'll be able to pull it out. You can see that I've uh, drilled out the center of it, which has allowed me to hit it on the sides and then it sort of folds in on itself a little bit and then it allows it to, to come out. To improve the feel of this gearbox, we're going to be chucking in some um, detent, new detent spring kit. Um, so basically this is a GK, GK Tech kit. You've got the choice of a few different springs here. Um, we're going to be pretty much just chucking them all in and then seeing how it feels. Um, or maybe just the thick one and the thin one, just see how that feels. Um, that'll improve the, basically, when your shift is in there, it'll improve how it feels when it comes back to center line. Um, so it'll be a lot tighter, feel a lot tighter. And then we're going to be chucking in also a shift kit from GK Tech. That'll also just reduce the throw, make it feel a lot better as well. So we can snap second and blow this gearbox up. So let's uh, start chucking all that in and um, we'll see how it looks after. All right, I'm gonna make the wiring as simple and easy as I possibly can. Wiring's always the crappiest part. So essentially we've got four plugs here. These are all for the trans. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're only going to be using this one and this one. So we can get rid of the brown plug altogether. That loom runs all the way down to the trans, get rid of it altogether. Then we've got this small one here that goes to this weird sensor. Um, like it looks like a crank angle sensor. Um, remove that all together. We don't need that at all. Then this top one here, that's your inhibitor switch. So basically we need to tee this like I have here. So chop the wires off and then tee them together. That'll trick the car, make it think that it's always in park. So then that one's all good. 
And then we've got this one down, this third one down here. That's got eight pins in it, seven wires. All we need out of that is these three colors. We need a black, we need a green, and we need a white. Green is for our reverse, white is for our neutral switch, and then the black is for our earth, for both of them. So we need to turn that into two. So we need to tee it back here, run two wires to each of these switches. And then we've got our reverse light, which is green. We're going to, um, yeah, terminate that one at the, at the trans. And then we've got white, our neutral switch, terminate that at our trans as well. So all we need to do is make a little, nice little loom out of this one. And then that should be all of our wires. Our speed sensor is already in our engine loom and that's already going to where our speed sensor is, so we won't have any trouble there. Wiring's all done up here. We're going to chuck in the clutch pedal now. First off, you've got to remove your auto ECU. Garbage, don't need that anymore. Should run fine without this in there, as long as you've done the correct wiring. So now we're gonna install this. So basically, on the automatic ones, the firewall has no cutout for it, but it's double plated, and on the back, it's got a, like a stencil or template. So two holes, um, for your bolts and then one big hole for your middle. So we're just gonna drill out the two bolt holes here and then we're gonna hole saw out the middle one as well. Um, that'll allow us to go under there, slot that in and then you've got your two nuts on this side and then you've got one bolt that goes up and that'll hold the whole clutch pedal in. In our case, we don't have a manual brake pedal. We're just gonna cut it in half to suit um, and get the, the correct um, rubber to suit it as well. Now for the fun part, time to slip the box in. So we've got our speed sensor wiring, reverse and neutral wiring. We'll terminate that once we've got the gearbox back in. These two are our Deutschworks connectors. We've just um, terminated these ones so um, we can just put the appropriate Deutschworks connectors on these once we know what length we need them at. Um, and we've just got the front of the engine jacked up slightly just so to tilt the back of the engine back a little bit just because the bell housings on these things are a little bit tricky to get in here. So let's get to it. Another day, another dollar. We're on the second day of this uh, manual swap now. So we haven't filmed it, but we've got all the exhaust in, the tail shaft in, the gearbox mounted in there and with the gearbox mount on. We've chucked the slave on um, and we've got our GK Tech line in uh, with our master cylinder up the top there. So all of that's really self-explanatory stuff. Nothing too crazy there. Just make sure you bleed the, bleed the clutch system nice and, um, nice and good. Uh, we've got our wiring all tucked up there, um, our reverse switch, our neutral switch. Um, we just don't have the right speed sensor at the moment, so we've just got to get the correct speed sensor um, at a laid down the track, and then that should work fine as well. Uh, let's go inside the car, ch chuck in our shifter, um, and then we can actually test if this thing's going to work. We've cut down our brake pedal. We've got our clutch pedal in there. We're ready to see if this thing moves under its own power. Woo! It works! There we go. Let's go drive the thing. Woo! Smooth. Oh, so smooth. 